All right, I'll be back in a second. Crazy. What? It only goes about 10 feet. Jeez. So, it doesn't appear that there will be any diving here. We had to send in one guy. El Gato? Cenote El Gato? El Gato. Is it the one in town? going into a new cave. This cave, I'm just saying, coincidentally also is exactly where you would have a sewer pipe, so. Okay, that's not. The point is, this sewer, so, I almost call it a sewer because of you. This cave. Cave ass. This, this, this system, okay, it's all over underneath the city of Sotuta, Mexico, in the Yucatan Peninsula. It goes all over the city. So it's kind of like the Mexican version of Budapest, which is also over a bunch of caves. Right. So you just drew your so we toilet don't pipe right straight down, and it's so awesome. Yeah. So other people, saving. other people have the money to go to Budapest. We, we this is why we can't afford. It. And I'm excited to be in a sewer. Equally excited. Back to you. I'm just whatever's in there. Yes. The gato. Inhabiting the cenote at the various depths. Hey, Fernando. Fernando. Hey, you want to uh, put a dive talk sticker on your science rod? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Is that oh. what I call science rods? Yeah, we'll stick this right on the rod. Oh my god. It's perfect. It's yeah. a case. Be honored to have that on your rod. Yeah. Do the gato. Surface support yeah. for this first time. You should stay on the surface. No, I don't think so. Don't mean to freak you out, but there seems to be kind of a, a large. Uh, Bug right here, next to this pole. Oh, I see it. So uh, be careful. It's like a... Especially you, Mike, they like your blood. That looks like in Puerto Rico, we had a tailless scorpion. They were completely harmless, but they look like a lot like that, but bigger. And you didn't see them move. They were there and then they weren't. They were that fast. You're the next it's contestant. Over there, Woody. It's just shockingly yeah. beautiful. Like I didn't expect it just come right underneath. The gentleman, I was talking right yeah. underneath the road and, and seeing this yes. level of He's from this area. Yeah. He now owns a dive shop in Tulum. Yeah. He said Nancy La Rosa is the one who did the survey and stuff in here. Yeah. Back uh, like 20 or 30 years ago. Okay. So she's she's uh well-known cave diver, so I'm sure the lines will be ran really well and that there will still be lines. Wow, nice. So this might just be a cave dive, not so much of a cave exploration. No, we have two people. 
That's true. We have Simon rebreather, so we might be able to fit through holes that they couldn't fit. You're gonna think I'm in a wet suit when I take this off. Pure sweat. Wow. This one's so that's getting all there in my dry suit, which I do. Then you want to squish it out. So okay, guys, when you're ready, yeah. do like a five minute recon. Yeah. Shake down, 100 foot out maximum. Okay. Looking for leads, and we'll come back, we'll discuss which area to pursue. Roger that. And more. Finish. Good job. Yeah. You can see behind me, this is also one of the local swimming holes. You can see people are going in with bathing suits, shorts, etc. So we're gonna be below them, inside the caves. Lay in line, mapping it. The owners of this property don't know how big it is, how big the cave is, how deep it is. Huh? Surveying, well, lay in line and then surveying. As of now, we don't know how extensive it is. It could be miles, it could be, who knows. <laughs> Go down and breathe and wait for your water. And there is line going on the passage. I just told Woody, let's go to the left because it looks like it's going passage and there's no line to it, you know? Yeah, okay. Gus, what do you think of this spot? Uh, it's awesome. There is, it looks like there's a lot of cave to, to look at and explore. So we'll see how these guys do going that way. And then we checked out a couple little sort of passages, but they pretty much tailed off. At least for the moment, I didn't see any passes, yes, but that doesn't mean that there do not exist one. We, we have a going line over here. Oh, perfect. So we don't know how far it will go, so we're going to run to the end of the line. Okay. And we're going to look for passages on the way. Huh? Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Then, wow. Oh, yeah. And you can do your <laughs> survey stuff on the existing line, yep. and then we'll survey on the way in. So in this one, I will be uh, collecting microorganisms. But they gave us till 12 because the afternoon will be very busy here. Yeah, and they already wanna, made some nice line, buddy. We didn't want to be in the way. Brand new territory. So, looks like we need to, we need to actually do less than a one-hour runtime. We need I like you have so fifty minutes. Okay. Runtime today. Okay. And then you hear that, Woody? Fifty minutes. And then the, we'll yeah, find okay. a good place to stage things, and we'll take our tanks off back. Yeah. And you like oxygen rebreather out. Oxygen out. Got it. Okay. See you guys in an hour.
Divers are back up. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five divers. Oh, good. <laughs> we turned around before we ran out of line because it was getting really silty. Oh, yeah. So there is like a small tube. Then we reach a big chamber. Really? Uh, so the small tube it was very low visibility because we were the last thing. Uh, once we reached that room, like it was like this part of zero bees and then this part of like great visibility. Yeah. Where I actually see uh, at least three different species of crustaceans. So we have 20 minutes, guys. Okay. On You want my special red light? Sure. Wow, you like a Navy SEAL. I think so. Maybe. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I don't know why I feel like doing that without red lights on, but. Hello, <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so we went down and there's a couple of leads that we saw, some with line, some without line. So the first one I saw, there was two tunnels. One had a line going and the other one didn't have a line going. So I told Woody, I'm just gonna go and lay line because it's virgin tunnel. So we went and I laid like 100 feet of line and then we got to a restriction that was too small. And I told Mike, I'm like, it will be really hard to get through this one, but the visibility went to zero quickly, so we just turn around. And then we went on the one with line, but the line was in line for surveying. It didn't have the nuts every 10 feet that we can survey on the way out. So I ended up replacing the line that was left here with knotted line. So I think I laid probably three or 400 feet of line. Uh, some of it was a new passage, some of it was just replacing the existing one. And then towards the end, I started having an issue. Uh, one of my sensors was flashing yellow, which is like, you know, like a warning, like you have to check me, something is up. I think it's just humidity. Um, so there was another lead that Mike was like, let's just go for five minutes because we have to get out. But, um, you know, when I saw my, my sensor, I showed it to Mike, I'm like, look, it's yellow. And he's like, okay, let's turn around. We can come back tomorrow. But we left our tanks down there and uh, tomorrow we're gonna come back and explore some more.
Hopefully no scorpions. Don't under my t-shirt. Sleeping bag, Woody. It, 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 Another it. scorpion? Yeah. Oh, what? Well, that was right by my gear. Oh, it has it has, some my gear. Yeah. It has arm. That's for scorpions? I can't read it, but I think you spray this on your on your cut or something. I can read. Poison of insects. <laughs> so this kills scorpion. It's yeah. like, you know, so like you spray it on a scorpion and it dies. But your foot already did that. <laughs> so you say that your mouth, mm -hmm. your mouth is getting numb? No, the roof of my mouth is, was, was numb a while ago. Not anymore? Not now. Oh, okay. My hand was tingling and I was like, oh, and then when my knee was like, so are you becoming a scorpion? I don't know. <laughs> Which is your other...